Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Hey, what's up guys? This is Theo from Fino Concept and today we are going to create this in Adobe Photoshop. So let's just open up our application. So um, for this tutorial, I'll be using Photoshop CSS training i don't know training something and we are going to be using this particular image right here uh honestly i don't know why because it looks better to me now the first thing we are going to do is actually um isolate the image from the background so i'll just grab my quick selection tool because my backgrounds are of slightly the same color i'll just use the quick selection tool i'll just create a selection around the, the back like this so I'll go ahead and create a layer mask out of this. So you notice that we have the image being transparent and that's because of the layer mask right here. So with the layer mask selected, which is over at this portion, I'll hold down control and press I. So this will invert the selection. So right now I have just the image and that's it. So I'll right click and click on apply layer mask. Okay. So currently we just have the image without any background nice now um the next thing is to actually cut certain parts of the um, image so um, we are interested in the ears the head on itself and the background um the body i mean so well, first of all i just create a selection around the head so i'm just using the lasso tool just to create some rough selection but if you want to make this quite perfect you can use the um the pen tool okay so i'll just create a selection around oh this is terrible okay so i'll zoom out actually then i'll create my selection you can still use the quick selection tool any selection tool at all so i have a selection of the head i right click and click on layer via cut so i want to actually cut out the head okay so let's undo that now i want to do the same for the ears so again with my lasso tool i just create a selection around the ear so this will be the left ear right click layer via cut now you notice that anytime I create such a thing, we have a new layer being created here. So I'll call this the, um, okay, it is our left, but it's actually his right ear. So I'll call this the right ear. Then I'll move over to the other side, which will be right here. So I'll create, now you see, um, on this ear, we don't have this image. So I'll go back to the head image, which is this one. Then I'll create my selection from that head image. So we have something like this. Then I'll right click layer via cut. Okay, so we have the left ear also here. And I'll just call this head so that I, I keep remembering and this body. Okay, so let me zoom out. So now this is what you have. We have the body, we have the head, we have two ears. This is cool. Now the first thing, no, not the first thing. To continue, I'll just um, click on the head image or the head layer, go to filter, and in filter, I'll click on liquify. So in liquify, you'll we'll be going through um, just a few of them. The f I'll use the first two, which is the forward warp tool. Then I'll just uh, probably set the brush size that one is dependent on you but the pressure i'll leave it at 50. um this is because i don't want to use too much pressure then at the end let me show you what i mean so i use too much then i see that this is um making the whole image look bad then i have to undo several times so i'll just go with 50 and apply it several times on that image so i'll just um focus side um slightly on the chin so right around here i'll just make it go a little bit inwards 
right around this area so we want to create some fake cartoon looking like 3d chain over here so everything here goes in and everything around the cheeks come out so something like this sort okay now once you're done we move on to the third two which is the polka two now this two actually any any part you click using this two becomes smaller so um i'll just increase the size and start clicking on the nose so you can see the nose becomes smaller and smaller so i want something like this then the next two is the bloat tool so if the poker makes it small the bloat will make it big so i'll just focus the that part over here so let me undo a couple of times i'll grab my zoom tool i'll zoom in or probably out i'll grab my bloat tool then I'll increase some parts of the teeth. So I'm interested in the first two. Make it um, a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'll zoom up. Now I'll grab the tool again. And this time around, I'm going to make it very big. And just use it on the entire map. Okay. So this is what we are getting. And again, I can still reduce it and make this part much bigger. Like so. I think this is too much. So I um, just apply it a few couple of times. Now I just click on OK. And this is what we have. So I'll go to the ears. So currently this is the left ear. And I'll make it smaller. Or probably let's make it bigger but before that I'll bring both ears to the um, beneath the head layer right here so I'll make this as big as this just trying to make sure that it's blends in so holding down control I'll just click and drag this to this side so we actually deform the ear so this side I'll do the same, I'll increase it probably around here and holding down control I'll click and drag from this corner. So I have something like this. Okay, now I'll select the body holding down shift and alt. I'll just click from both, no from one side and this is going to actually move the image to the center. So I'll just bring this somewhere around here. Now we are not done, I'll just, well, on the body, I'll still go to filter and I'll go to liquefy. Now I want to make the body as small as possible. So try to make him look uh, a bit skinny, even though he's actually not. So I'm going to leave the neck just as it is, but the body is going to be much, much smaller. So right around here should be, okay, I think this is, good and i'll click on ok so this is what we are having now i'll select all all four um, layers then i'll move it um, probably at the center i don't like how the head is tilting so i'll just select the head and the ear yes and you notice that with my move to anytime i move to this can i have this um arrow um, rotational arrow so I'll just rotate it slightly maybe make it something like so it looks nicer when it is turned but not too much so I'll, I'll comment ok and I'll just create something like this so I'll be posting this image on Instagram so I'll just um, change this crop this out and make this uh, one by one aspect ratio so basically this is the whole idea if you like this video or you thought this video was helpful um, please don't forget to like and whilst you're on the subject if you like to watch more of our tutorials don't forget to 
um, subscribe to our channel and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is Theo from Fino Concepts so I'll see you guys in the next one